answer of God, an earthquake. I like to talk about it, but I won't talk about all of this. You know, a lot of people are talking about the signs of the times and all this kind of stuff and, you know, conspiracy theories and Islamic State and all that kind of stuff. According to Paul's letter to Timothy, that speculations, it's unprofitable. It does not live to godly living. Let's leave all that stuff and talk about the five and fifth answer heaven's fifth answer the earthquake was so great it split rocks man it, it shook buildings and tombs knocked the lids off graves knocked it rolled broke the stones in front of the thing and and the old and some old saints they well, were asleep you know that's what the Bible calls the death of a believer. It's sleep because it's, it's not permanent. He's going to wake up again. It's transient. And they wake up, you know. There they are in their graves. They wake up. Whoa. You look around, you know. Be careful looking around. And the door's open. The door's open. Now don't imagine the walking dead, Okay. That's not what he's talking about, the walking dead, you know. He says they, they waited a while. They waited a while. And after Jesus' resurrection, they went into the city. Now, I would have really liked to have seen that, you know. People appearing. You know, there's your great-grandfather. You remind me of my great-grandfather. I am a great-grandfather. And I'm here to tell you about Jesus Christ. That's dramatic, isn't it? You know, God doesn't even really need us believers. He could do it through unbelievers like he did here. Jesus is the perfect atoning sacrifice. Innocent, undefiled. And for all the evil people would hurl against the cross in Christianity back then and even today, God's going to answer. I'd just like to ask you one question. Are you saved? May I take your greetings back to Austria with me? Thank you.